Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I get to do two of my favorite things on this channel. One, introduce you guys to a new, excellent, awesome, free tool to add to your game dev toolbox. And two, make your ears bleep. Now, if you're new to this channel, you've never seen me cover audio tools before, this is a warning. This is a vital warning. Plug your ears, there will be blood. And that is because I suck at music, but I like hitting those keys and making bad sounds come out, so you have been warned. So what we're looking at today is Vital. Uh, vital is a spectral warping wavetable synth. If that is confusing to you, don't worry. It's a synthesizer. It basically is implemented as a standalone application or a VST that you could plug into your DAW of choices. If you've got no idea what a DAW is, stay tuned to the end. I have a couple of recommendations, but it stands for Digital Audio Workstation, and basically those are the programs you use to create music. All right, so Vital, it is free. There are upgrade versions available, but literally you can use this commercial project completely free. You're just not going to have all of the bells and whistles. If you want more bells and whistles, we will get back to that and show you what you can do. So let's start off by showing Vital. This is the standalone app. You can see it right here. Only one downside I can kind of see is it is locked to a fixed resolution. So when I maximize this guy, it maximizes this way. That's a little unfortunate, but I can let it go. What you see here is a very visual oriented synthesizer. When you're using it, you're going to see in your envelopes or your oscillations here, you're going to see visual waveforms represented. We got a number of different options and you can see them and you can even tweak them completely visually. But when you're going ahead and playing a note, here, we'll go ahead and pick one of their uh, built-in presets. So, yeah, let's find something. There, we'll, we'll go with analog pad to start with. So we got a little keyboard down here. So you can see, as they're going, here is the random effect being applied. Here is the envelope on it, uh, the oscillation on it, the uh, special effects being done through the two oscillators. You got a number of different options, but as you are playing, you're getting real-time feedback. So you see as the note goes through its history, there. And if I want to tweak this, any one of these things, I can visually tweak it however I wish. If I want to um, change and edit things, I can do so. And you can actually see completely visual feedback of everything you are working on. You've got a number of different effect options here. So we've got things like distortion, phaser, chorus, reverb, delay, equalizer. We've got a compressor built in here. We got a flanger built in here. Turn them off and on accordingly. And once again, every single tool is visual in its look. So as I tweak the feedback here, you're seeing the waveform being changed or I can do it over here. We can change things around left and right, up and down. So you're getting this visual real-time representation of the waveforms that you are working with. It's a very intuitive approach, especially if you are uh, an idiot like myself in terms of setting these things up. Again, they have a number of pre-configured um, pre values in here. So we go through the different ones here and you're going to get massively different sounds. So here's ceramic. And then we go. So you get an idea. Okay, well, we'll let the we'll let the decay kick off of that one. But you get an idea of just how many different uh, options you can do with this. You can make a pretty profound range of good sounds there. And again, there are a number of presets for you. Everything is visually controlled. Uh, you got the matrix here of basically chaining everything here together. And then you have an advanced tab, an advanced tab that I have no right to be in. Hopefully you make sense of what you see in front of you. It is for obviously advanced uh, configuration of what you're working with. As I mentioned earlier on, this is a VST. Uh, so that means it can plug into your DAW of choice. There's also a couple nice things to deal with here. So we got the pitch and module wheels down here that you can control in real time. So, so. And then I get go. And we can also do it here. So pretty huge effect there. I'm gonna shut this guy down now and let's showcase this in a uh, DAW. So here we are in Mixcraft. Go ahead and open this up. This happens to be the DAW I have installed on my machine. I'll give you a couple of free recommendations in just a minute. But as I mentioned, this is implemented as a VST, which is sort of like a plug-in virtual instrument. So I'll just come down here, make this track. I switch this over to a VST. So right here, VSTi instruments are there. I seem to be locked up. All right, it's VST. We will find it down here. It is vital. I select vital, it will load it up like so. So here it is available. I can pick the defaults I want to work with. So let's go with, here, we'll do that one. 
All right, so that's what we were working from. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way now. Uh, go back here, start my track. So let's just go ahead, create a new track here, start layering notes in. And there is the ear bleeding portion of the programming. So now there is the music you're creating. So it's implemented as a plugin into whatever kind of music creation you want to use. In this case, I'm using Mixcraft, but as I mentioned, there are other options out there if you're just starting with music. Uh, so that is a quick, quick, quick overview of Vital. If you want to learn more about Vital itself, it is available at vital.audio. I like the URL. Uh, you find out a little bit more detail about what's going on. There's a couple cool things happening here. All of this visualization stuff it is being run on your GPU, leaving your CPU free to do whatever you wish. Uh, you create custom wavetables from scratch, use the built-in wavetable editor, even generate wavetables from text if you so wish, and turn your samples into wavetables by using Vital's pitch splash or vocode wavetable converter. Everything, again, is completely visualized. Some um, LFOs, oscilloscopes, spectrograms, and more. All anima animations run at 60 frames per second and are GPU optimized, leaving your CPU to do the audio processing. Um, so this is, is Vital Audio. If you want to learn more about it, again, head on over here to vital.audio. Uh, in terms of pricing, it is available basic form as free. You are getting Vital plus 75 presets plus 25 wavetables. There is an upgraded plus version that has 250 presets and 70 wavetables. And then there's a pro version that has 400 presets, 150 wavetables, unlimited text to wavetable, an exclusive Discord perk, and prioritized support. On that topic, they do have a Discord. I will link that in the linked article down below. And then we get more and more into the details here. I'm not a musician, guys, so it's mostly this is me raising your awareness of it out there. So if you are looking for instruments to go with your um, uh, DAW of choice, Vital is definitely one to consider checking out. It's very intuitive and easy to work with. Another option we've got there, by the way, so if you're looking for a pair of synthesizers to get you up and running, uh, pick up Vital, pick up Odin 2. I also did a video on it in the past. Those two things together and you probably got you most of your needs set. In terms of if you are looking for a DAW to work with, one completely free open source option out there is LMMS, which I did a video on. One of the biggest flaws with LMMS is its lack of instruments. So hey, that works out well together. You can plug um, uh, Vital into there, plug in uh, Odin 2, and you got a nice combo of tools for absolutely zero dollars. If you wanna go over the different tool, another option out there is Reaper. Reaper is not completely free. I did a video about it as well, by the way. But in the case of Reaper, there is kind of a free two month non-expiring fully functional trial out there. And then otherwise, um, and some affordable costs to go along with that as well. But back to the tool at hand, it is Vital, a spectral warping wavetable synth or as I say, a music for your music making programming. So that is vital. Let me know what you think. Hopefully your ears aren't bleeding too, too bad. Uh, definitely a nice free tool out there for your toolbox and it can come with some really cool, interesting sounds. So uh, that is vital. Any other recommendations, let me know, comments down below and I'll do my best to cover them. That's it, see you all later. Goodbye.